Hello, Victory Village. Welcome to another episode of 20 of It Speaks. In this episode today, we are going to be talking about the one and only Taylion Goffney, the model. As some of you may know, he has recently passed away. His home going will be on the first of this upcoming month. And I found out about this story on accident. Um, I thought this man was in remission. I thought that his cancer was gone, but his battle with cancer was brutal to say the least. And I'm just really <laughs> shook a little bit because I didn't know until just a few minutes ago. And I was like, this is hard. This is really crazy. For those of you who don't you know, bottle models. You've seen this guy all over the place. And I'm going to show you a picture of him in a minute. Um, but you've, you've seen this guy in so many different commercials. Um, his face, you didn't know who he was probably, but his face has literally been everywhere. And he has a twin brother. And him and his twin brother, um, you know, they've done like so many shoots and runways and movies. And, you know, the list goes on and on. And this guy is also a published author. And has done amazing things but um yeah I wanted to it's just I, I was trying to wrap my head around this I hate to to get to the place where I don't know what to say or like I'm just like trying not to cry or whatever but some of the stories that I have had to cover today really has me on edge and I'm just a little bit taken aback by this but anyway we're going to get into the story if you have not hit that subscribe button for more news and information about events, channel reviews, and all that good stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget about the notification bell. Alright guys, we're talking about Taylion Goffney, or Mr. Infamous, as you may know him. Um... This right here is his Facebook page. He was widely known for those eyes. <laughs> and um, let me see if I can get this to blow up so you guys can see. Very gorgeous. Him and his brother, both very gorgeous. This is the book, Life After uh, Infamy, the sequel. I am not sure if he got to finish the next installment or if he was just working on it. Um, but you can get this, you could get the ebook for like $3.99 and I hope I have the link. If I do, I'll put it in the description if you guys want to see it. Um, when you go to his website, uh, Life After Infamy, it says that Taylion Goffney is a man who grew up in a poverty stricken community and literally became a product of his environment. Not having a father led him to seek all the wrong examples of what he thought it meant to be a man. The pressures of his upbringing led him to the most illegal and immoral choices that cultivated him into being a former adult film star and subsequently one of the most wanted criminals on the East Coast. He is the oldest of five siblings and now a father of a beautiful boy. He's become a model, a published author, and a certified, uh, I think that's Havoc, but it's HVAC technician trying to find his place in the world now as a seven-time convicted felon. His determ he's determined not to make his past become his destiny, especially if it means not being the failure of his son that his father was to him. He's publicly known as Mr. Infamous, and this is, again, shocking. I'm on his website right now, and so if you click about the author, um, that's what you get. And then his book, if you want the um, softback, I think. I think it said twenty four ninety nine, but I'm gonna pull it up just, just so you know, just some FYI. But the ebook, like if you have a Kindle or whatever, okay, the ebook is three ninety nine and the soft cover is twenty two ninety nine. Can guarantee you either one of these will definitely be, you know, worth it. Okay, <laughs> would definitely be worth it. So um, I'll keep this page up and put the link in the description just in case you guys want to. 
um, want to see that. So I'm going to go um, to his Instagram because his Instagram has um, a lot of information. And of course I googled to make sure I had the right information. But it says just another dope black man doing his thing trying to win. I model. I fight. I shoot. I got my own underwear. <laughs> He, yeah, he models underwear, so <laughs> we'll leave that alone. Um, these pictures are awesome. These pictures are great, but the pictures of him and his family, um, these are the pictures that really got me. Um, this right here, this is his, his mother, and this is him, and this is his twin brother. And then you can see the other siblings, and then they took a picture of everybody together. So beautiful I love when you have family photos like this and you could tell that you know he was really tired and he was really getting sick um, you know the weight loss um, is showed in his face and you know he, he's been through a lot okay been through a lot um, this is one of him when he was in the hospital and his twin brother um, you know came there for support they do have a GoFundMe and it's still going right now because of the bills and because of um, the funeral arrangements um, did not check anybody's pockets I don't know how much money these people have or don't have um, but if you want to donate I'll also put that in the description box so you guys can you know feel free to donate but it's really sad to see where he was and then you know what was going on but they documented his journey right here on um, Instagram so you could just see you know what I'm saying if this is like you know before you know before the cancer hit and everything and then to see what you know what was happening had to be hard for his twin brother hard for the mother hard for his family I mean just crazy I just couldn't imagine could not imagine going through this so definitely if I had a twin I could not imagine you know having to go through this I'm not going to give up on my twin as long as he keeps fighting so I will I love you and me and your kids need you to survive so I'm asking if if all can please pray share or donate to the link in my bio so if you go um, to either one of their links you can also um, you know get there on Instagram to donate and you know they're not picky any donations you know are welcome because listen this is devastating I can't I can't even imagine like I'm not even kidding <sighs> this right here was five days ago rest in peace my beautiful brave brilliant twin brother I'm sorry I did my best to save you I tried with all my might you fought hard and I will forever um, impacted by your courage you officially are the bravest person I know and I'm so proud of you and I will keep your honor alive as your twin brother twinning for life even in death this was just so I can't even like I don't understand cancer I don't you know what I'm saying like I just really and I have seen so many people pass away you know with this cancer and I'm just like and there's all different forms that attacks you wherever and it's just weird like it just takes over your entire body and just ravishes you and it's just sickening and I just with all of the you know medical the medical you know stuff that's going on you try you're telling me that there's no cure there's nowhere near and even if you have the chemo and even if you you know do everything that you're supposed to do and you eat clean you know it's, it's still there's always a chance that it's gonna win you're not and I just don't I just don't get that um let's do this so a lot of people have been asking me what's going on with my brother the update and why I haven't been posting about it it's
So a lot of people have been asking me what's going on with my brother, the update, and why I haven't been posting about it. It's very serious. He is uh, rapidly declining uh, after nine months of chemo, uh, the two month uh, radiation treatments and the uh, meal therapy we, we raised the money for. He's still declining and just withering away. And uh, it is very hard to see what he looks like today. And we are trying everything in our power. But I'm sitting here watching my brother deteriorate. And he's so thin and emaciated and it's just getting more aggressive. And now he's developed other, other, uh... yeah, we decided to raise the, um, the goal because, um, because of all the inflated tumors I have, the new growth, um, I developed something called ascitis. So now I gotta get my stomach pumped. It's just one problem after the other. So, you know, if you guys can help us out, man, we really appreciate it. So a lot of people have been asking me what's going on. So this is him. Um, and you can tell where he's had, you know, surgeries and he had to do the implants and, and everything. It's just, you know, after nine months of chemo, nine months and two radiation surgeries, this is what it boils down to. And after going through all of this, he still lost his life. And this is what I'm saying. And I, I get it. I understand, you know, that things like this happen. And sometimes you don't, you know, you don't survive the fight. But it just seems like, you know, something could be done. That's why, you know, I love the, um, the Children's Hospital for Cancer. You know, I actually feel like they should have something like that for adults too. But you know who knows in the near future you know if if more people um post this stuff and you know reach out to you know the right people that maybe one day there could be a hospital like that to where you don't have to worry about the bills and you don't need to go fund me you know because you know that you know it's going to be taken care of and like i said i'm not counting anybody's pockets we don't know what this guy is worth or you know how much money his family has got we just know that there are bills that accumulated and all of that stuff has to be taken care of so as you can see here he was born in 1982 and he passed away just five days ago and he will be laid to rest march 1st May Funeral Home in uh, Sicklerville is doing this. Sicklerville, New Jersey. Okay. Oh my gosh! Again, I'm gonna put the um, I'm gonna put the link in the bio for his obituary as well as um, his GoFundMe and his Instagram so if you guys want to swing by and donate a dollar five dollars whatever you know just do what you can do what you're led to you know if if at all and if you don't have any money if you can't donate say a prayer for this family especially his brother I know his mom and everything is hurting but if you've ever seen twins if you have a twin or if you've ever seen twins um, you know then you know that losing half of you is devastating and I just can't imagine what he's going through and I can't imagine what his family must be feeling right now after everything because let me tell you something my biological father had 22 lesions on his brain he had over 20 ulcers in his stomach he had suffered two strokes and he had massive um, congestive heart failure if I'm saying that right and all of this they did two radiation treatments or whatever and he wasn't strong enough to go through you know any chemo not even the pills because if you treat that then you may not survive because of the congestive heart failure and if you treat the congestive heart failure you know you're obviously going to be weakened because of the cancer and I know what it's like to literally sit there and watch somebody wither wither away and you know your your body is being attacked by this cancer these cancerous cells right and so if if they don't if they you know when if you don't kill them then 
they grow and so all the the nutrition that Taylion got they were saying that the cancer was just swallowing it up like the cancer was just draining his body and so that's the reason he had to get the, his stomach pumped because um it was it was swelling up the fluid was swelling up in his body and so you know it, like he said one thing just led to another and leads to another until you know your body is just damaged to the point where you can't recover i just again i know this may sound stupid to some of y'all but i will never understand cancer it is so awful to me it's it's about the worst thing you could possibly have and it just disgusts me it really does and i don't understand why we don't have you know a cure for this yet or you know better ways to treat it but everything is it for us to understand right so i'm definitely praying for the Goffney family i want you guys to do the same you know and just there's there's been a lot here lately there's been you know the ice storms in texas the south got hit pretty bad there's been a lot of stuff going on so just keep everybody in your prayers and if you have a family member that is going through any type of cancer you know don't give up on them you know fight with them support them in any way you can because they need you everybody needs somebody all right you guys don't forget to be safe out there live on purpose and I will be talking to you guys in another video. And thank you so much for always uh, hanging in there with me. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see. Let's get out of here.